conversation, uh, what we wanted to share with you today, was some conversation about the competitive sites um, and its relevancy to transportation uh, decision making. Uh, for some of you, particularly my board, uh, you've heard some of this conversation, but we have some graphics that we want to share with you. Uh, but also for the other members of the committee, uh, I'd like to walk through a little bit of our work. In context to what you've um, been presented today, uh, this conversation is really about what are the next generation sites that speak to specifically kind of our targeted industry strategy. So this, I, I say to people, this isn't about where the next shopping mall goes or the next rooftops go. This is a narrow band of conversation about how we use scarce resource, which is land, to generate some of uh, our objectives associated with the economy, which is higher wage jobs where, uh, where we can. So that's really the, the genesis for competitive sites. And um, what I wanted to do is get a blank screen. And let's see, what's next? OK. Um, I really want to pick up where it left off and try to relate the sites conversation to everything that you've been talking about. And obviously, we're just starting the conversation, not ending the conversation. But um, we've just genericized what Beth has done. We picked up some of the main uh, transportation arteries in our system. And again, it's kind of repeating, in essence, what Beth shared with you in detail. But the fact of the matter is, even in this section, which is 2018 only, um, clearly, we have a transportation system under duress. And now the question is, what does it really have to do with uh, the narrow band of conversation related to growing our economy? Um, one of the things that we did here, and I encourage you throughout this presentation just to look at the big picture because we're uh, still scrubbing a lot of the information, but we map targeted industries. The reason you see some dispersion in the counties is because we also mapped agriculture, because agriculture is a fundamental part of our targeted industries uh, strategy, so it's a little bit misleading here, but go with it for today. But the fact of the matter is these are, these are dots that are variation on the theme to what Beth and Melissa have shared with you, but these are targeted industries. So it's not every job center in Hillsborough County, it's a narrow band of jobs that are in our targeted industry segments. So, and again, your dispersion in this map is fundamentally because of manufacturing and agriculture. Otherwise, the aggregation dots are exactly what you would expect. So they, they match up to some extent uh, clearly with the key economic spaces that you've been talking about already. Excuse me. And so West Shore, downtown, along the interstate corridor, a looser uh, grouping in the 301 uh, 75 corridor and then of course in the USF area. So you're not seeing anything really fundamentally different, it's just this is a narrow band of data associated with targeted industries. Something I wanted to continue to kind of remind you as you look at transportation is that we are a regional economy. It's not just Hillsborough County. So um, a sound bite for you to remember is about a sixth, one sixth of the jobs in Hillsborough County uh, are filled by people outside of our county. So those transportation gateways to our community are critical, and frankly, they'll be more critical in the future. I think, I think our economy will continue to evolve and strengthen, and the bigger it gets, the more we'll be reliant on each other in terms of neighboring counties. And so what you see in these arrows is inflows and outflows associated with uh, commuting patterns. And uh, no surprise to see, for instance, if you go over to the Pinellas side linked to us, um, 40, about 41,000 uh, coming from Pinellas into our marketplace. And not surprisingly, if you drive to Howard Franklin Bridge, uh, 29,000 of our residents going over to Pinellas. Um, again, not a surprise if you've lived here a long time, but look at the number for Pasco. At one time, Pinellas was clearly the leader in terms of sending people into our economy. Now Pasco actually is, a, is a outpacing Pinellas. So I just remind you, it's not, a, it's not just about moving people in Hillsborough County. 
if we can't get that workforce in, those companies are looking at a workforce and they don't care where the boundaries are. They don't care about a municipal boundary. They don't care about a county boundary. And so I just want to remind you, continue to remind you, that that, that primary center, the, the expressways, the interstate systems, our bridges, are still a critical part of Hillsborough County's economy. And so I just wanted to remind you of that.